Live from Phoenix, Arizona, it's Bruins vs. Coyotes. Hello again everyone and thanks for joining us here as the road trip for the Bees continues through the Western Conference. Looking back on Thursday, Boston came into San Jose on the heels of a dramatic win over St. Louis. The game was truly a defensive struggle, but the Bees managed to come out on top in an absolute nail-biter. For this Bees team, the win over San Jose marked a good ending for a January that was otherwise wildly inconsistent. But as we turn the calendar to February, the standings begin to tighten up a little bit more. As it stands, Boston slips into the third seed in the Eastern Conference. However, they have a couple of games in hand over Washington. The big factor in point totals is the margin extending to six points between Boston and Montreal for tops in the division. Phoenix comes into this game ranked 11th in the Western Conference, and they're playing like an average team to get to that point. In a conference as competitive as the West, the Coyotes are about where everybody expected them to be in terms of positioning. However, as of late, they have been rolling through teams, winning four in a row, and must not be counted out in this one. Goaltender Tim Thomas stood tall in his shutout victory over San Jose, and he will be getting the start again tonight against the ever-streaky Mike Smith. Boston must not underestimate the power of the Phoenix Coyotes as they can score early and often. And what has enabled Phoenix to dispose of opposing teams is the forcing of mistakes, something Boston cannot afford to do in tonight's game. Puck will drop momentarily, but first, a word from our sponsors. Hey, this can't work. Much better. Cats are fun. We're back here live from Phoenix. Boston still looking good with their last 10. 5-3 and 2 still working great as a team and really just a well-oiled machine right now. They've been playing a lot of mistake-free hockey, but they're going to have to do it tonight against this Phoenix team, which likes to skate with the puck as it's in front of Thomas, and he finds it. And he's going to cover for the whistle. Although Phoenix might not be the most depth-wise team in the NHL, they have players that are going to work hard and they're going to crash those dirty areas, whether it be the boards or the slot, whatever you want. Back to the point here. Shot save. Thomas kicks around to the side here. Phoenix maintains possession. Another shot from the point, Thomas with the save, Lucic to get the rebound and skate it out. And into Phoenix zone goes Lucic. Behind the net, Lucic still with the puck, quarterbacking it. Still with it is Luch. Trying to find an open guy, finally gets it to the point. Shot from the point, save Smith, rebound is cleaned up by his defenseman. And Phoenix able to get a lead pass out and into the Bruins zone. McQuaid, stride for stride. Phoenix maintaining possession here. Finally gets it to the point again. Shot. Save Thomas. And he's going to cover for the whistle. Heavy action so far here. As defenses have not allowed the down low shots. Both teams resorting to the point and trying to put traffic in this. This shot proves it. As you saw earlier, Phoenix was 7-3 in their last 10 having a remarkable stretch right now as they've won four in a row and what way to keep it going with some home cooking here the Bruins are going to have a tough matchup Bergeron into the zone here bringing it in front of Smith shot saved by Smith switching to the backhand was Bergeron Smith was able to stay with him all the way but it's Bergeron hot on the attack again Bruins still maintaining possession here drive by Char saved by Smith blocker save and Seidenberg pinched it. Another shot saved by Smith. Bruins had possession, but a puck was knocked loose here. Forechecking is heavy by the Bruins as Phoenix lost the puck. Now they're able to get back to it. Still heavy attack here by Boston, but the Coyotes able to get it and clear it in the Bruins zone. Seidenberg back to retrieve. Gives it to Chara. Chara almost turning it over, but 
Bruins able to turn it up ice here with Sagan, who finds the return pass and brings it around. Takes a hit, continues to keep the puck and gets it back to Char. Char, the centering pass down low, was broken up here and Phoenix looking good defensively right now. The Boston is possessing this puck a lot into the zone. Still having it. Drive by Char. Save Smith. Puck comes out, but he finds it again, and he's going to cover it up for the whistle. Big shots here, and Smith producing some rebounds, but Bruins not able to get a hold of them. And they haven't been that juicy if you want to compare them, but still Boston... Knocking on the door here and lose a face off as Phoenix is going to get a breather and bringing it out of their own zone. Passes up and the shot and saved by Thomas. It was an awkward save, but the rebound died in front of him and Bruins defense able to skate it out for him. As it's back into the zone, Phoenix defensively looking just as good as the Bruins here as they. Once again, come away with the puck and turn the quick offense here. The shot went wide. Thomas had no chance of saving that. Rebound, the shot from the point. Nothing doing there. It was blocked and put aside. Phoenix still with possession. Shot again from the point. Thomas saves it and kicks it aside. Where McQuaid is able to retrieve. And the Bruins able to break it out. Into the zone goes Boston. Gives way to Kelly. Shot saved by Smith. Lucic to Kelly, had a good opening there, it was good vision, but Mike Smith on the save, and he's put on his big boy pants tonight, as Thomas is just going to cover this one up. Might have been a weak backhander, looks more like a pass, but whatever it is, it's just a cover up. Team defense is not really giving way to extremely... Horrific scoring chances for either side. Both teams getting their licks in, although Boston's had the possessional time for sure. As this period's going to come to an end. Not a whole lot doing, but the Bruins able to establish some sort of offensive dominance here as they've possessed this puck much longer than Phoenix has. and Defensively, they've been able to tighten up. Only problem is Phoenix has been just as good on the defensive portion and Main reason why they've won four in a straight, and they've been seven and three in the last ten. No score, heading into the first intermission. Hi everyone, Matt Nover is here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to slide like yeah, yeah, bad guy. Now it's important that when you start your slide, that you never stop and miss a beat. First, we're going to do a traditional slide where your foot and front foot only ends up on the bag first. The bag, in this case, will be a pillow. Next slide is going to be a hook slide, where you hook your arm around the bag and slide to either the right hand or the left hand slide. And I'm going to be doing it from the right hand side with my left hand on the bag. But that sucked. And lastly, I'm going to show you the head first slide, which is very dangerous and most likely will get you hurt. Oh, there goes my shoulder. Oh. Thanks for joining, guys, and hopefully this lesson has taught you to slide more like the man himself. Back here to start the second period. I don't know if you're Boston, if you want this to be a close game tight, because Phoenix has been able to frustrate opponents and win games by keeping it tight and then getting the late goals when they need them. So if you're Boston, you've been controlling this game for the most part. you got to find ways to score while you still have that sort of momentum, at least, built up from the first period. There's a long lead pass out of the Boston zone, brings it into Phoenix's. A good move put on there by Tyler Sagan, but it failed to put any effort into the back end of a shot or anything to produce from it and Phoenix is able to turn up ice quickly when Shane Doan but Seidenberg able to knock him up and the Bruins skated up now back and forth it goes Sagan the draw pass bringing it in is Seidenberg excuse me Krejci 
Krejci still with the puck. Gives it to Char. Char, the wrist shot saved by Smith off of a wicked deflection by Milan Lucic, who was parked right in front of him. The blade of his stick turned upwards, and Smith able to just stand still, and it goes right into his glove. As we often say here, sometimes the best reflex is just having none at all and just letting the puck hit you wherever it does. And for Smith, it lands right in his glove. One of those look what I found kind of saves. As it's Phoenix into the zone, saved by Thomas. Right on the doorstep there. Tim Thomas able to come up big with that save. I believe it was Michael Bodker, but who knows who's on this Phoenix team anymore. Lots of average names, but they've been playing well, and the mantra of Phoenix is, I don't care who you are, we're going to put you out there, and if you play well, you're going to become a household name eventually. Just look at Shane Doan. Look at the younger guys. Look at Oliver ekman Larson, as this puck is touched up for an icing on behalf of Phoenix. And Zibianic McCulloch, who's top five in hits. Phoenix, they'll beat you in certain areas that you might not expect them to. Shot by McQuaid is blocked down low. And dumped into the zone go the Coyotes. Back to retrieve. Thomas has some trouble with this one. Saved by Thomas. And the rebound turns into a goal by Rafi Torres. This play, in its entirety, was just completely awkward, if to say the least. It was a bad turnover that ended up coming in front of Thomas. He came way out, made the first save. The second one is just too close, two point blank, and Rafi Torres, who was previously on Vancouver and Cause a nightmare against Boston during the Stanley Cup playoffs with a game-winning goal. That would eventually send Boston back home 2-0 here as the shot came in and Smith was able to stand big and tall on the shot of Gregory Campbell. Bruins here fully remember the deed of Torres. And know what he's capable of and he strikes again against the Bruins here with the new team and new everything and even though he's been with Phoenix for a while, one can't help but remember as Mike Smith turns this one away, what he did for Vancouver. Shot by Horton was saved by Smith with a beautiful glove save. Smith getting tested a little bit more now here as the shots are coming from all angles and having to have to pull out his full bag of tricks to stop them all and so far he's looked stellar as previously mentioned Boston's mistake overall has cost them and they're up looking uphill 1-0 in this one drive by McQuaid saved by Smith his own defenseman might have been getting in a little bit of the way there but no matter still makes a save Heavily in on the draw here. Wins the faceoff. Back shot blocked. Seidenberg again the shot's blocked. Phoenix just playing the shooting lanes and taking the pucks right to the good old face there. Char to start the rush out of his own zone, but heavy forechecking here by Phoenix. Stalls some things. Finally, Paye is able to chip it into the zone. Heavily to chase here. However, Phoenix playing some pretty mistake free hockey and able to skate it out and put it in the Bruins zone as they're to chase. However, long lead pass up to Milan Lucic. She's got help here. Lucic gives way. Shot saved by Smith. Zidane Chara with a high slapper. Smith on the save. Oh, and another shot was turned away by Mike Smith. Nathan Horton in on that one, and Mike Smith is looks spectacular tonight so far. A couple of unbelievable saves. 
Back to the point here goes Phoenix. Shot is blocked around and kicked aside. Nathan Horton with it. Turns it over here, though. Phoenix able to regain possession. Horton still fighting for it, just trying to get it out. Boston finally can just hold on to the puck and end the period before something truly bad happened. However, the damage was done, namely due to a miscue in the Boston defensive zone and makes this difficult when Phoenix is playing a game of hockey that might be considered totally mistake-free, if any, very little. But that one given up by Boston puts this game 1-0 to Phoenix heading into the third period. Hello, everybody. Matthew here. And I don't want to brag, but I feel it is my duty to bring you all a tip in elegance every once in a while, as I do live in a manner in which elegance thrives upon. That being said, my first tip for you today is to be able to find elegance in places where you wouldn't normally find them in. For instance, finding elegant music to fap to. Tonight, tonight, it all began tonight. I saw you and the world went away. <laughs> I hope you found this tip somewhat helpful, and it will hopefully make you all just a little bit more elegant than usual. Tune in next time, where I will be discussing more elegant tips for maybe not-so-elegant people. Ciao. Well, start of the third period here, and Close just telling his guys, you know, he's going to break down eventually, talking about Mike Smith, to start getting more traffic in front of him. He does give up rebounds, although his defense has been flawless in clearing him out. They still have to try, and they have 20 minutes to try to even this game up. But it's a position that Boston has not been unfamiliar with. However, it's a two-on-one opportunity here. Shot saved by Thomas. Might have grazed the post or something there. Phoenix still on the attack, saved by Thomas. He's able to stick it aside. A couple of great saves by Tim Thomas. Doan now in front, save by Thomas, might have been wide, who knows, puck's not in the net, that's all that matters is Boston's here, with a breakout, Char the shot was turned away by Smith, pinching in his Seidenberg, able to keep it in, throws it in on Smith, but he's able to just cover it up here, now, I'm not sure necessarily if you're Boston, you want it to be this open ice action, puck can definitely go the other way as quick as you bring it into Phoenix's zone, and Seidenberg misses a pinch or if something else happens, you can be looking up 2 nothing at this game. And Against Mike Smith right now, it might be a tall order to score two goals, at least during regulation. To keep it to one right now is of the utmost importance. Phoenix able to skate this out of their zone and into Boston's. McQuaid, with some excellent defense, able to negate any forward progress there. And it's Boston's outbreak. Gregory Campbell with it. Loses the puck for a moment, still staying with it. The pinch in by McQuaid. Backfires a bit here. It's a two-on-one opportunity for Phoenix. The pass in on over. Shot saved by Thomas. Rebound still loose. Boston able to get it. And just as we were talking about, playing too aggressive could be a drawback here. As Horton brings it in, it's a save by Smith. As Horton took a tumble, brought it right in front of him. Just trying to jam it in there. And we have a delayed penalty call against Boston here. I don't know what. We'll see. It's going to be charging on none other than Milan Lucic. Who appears to be the only person in the league that gets these calls. And he just absolutely threw him in the bench. I never even saw that. Un unbelievable. So maybe it wasn't a charging. It should be more of a roughing call. The frustration for the Bruins here showing off of that play alone. As a little move is put on here by Chara. Tim Thomas pokes the puck away, though. Centering pass shot saved by Thomas on the doorstep. Mike Smith way out to play this puck. Boston almost had a chance at an open net. Oh, my. Mike Smith 
Unbelievable. Shot here saved by Thomas. Just before as we were going to say that Zidane O'Chara had got the moves put on him and he left was left in the dust mostly. Thomas with a save. Rebound though. Thomas was down and out. Phoenix unable to pull the trigger on him. And Chara still battling for this puck. He's getting hacked on. Puck is offside to the delight of the Bruins. Unbelievable right now. A shot from here that was produced by Chara getting left in the dust. Not something you see happen often and Thomas came up big with these saves and even before then, we're talking about Mike Smith coming way out to play the puck on his Tampa Bay days. Remember a couple years ago, Seidenberg throwing it in from the red line on him and scoring as a centering pass here finds no one from Phoenix. Phoenix still working this puck. Shot! Score! Shane Doan netting it. And the Phoenix Coyotes take a 2-0 lead here. With just under nine minutes to play left in this one. Just what we were fearing here. and Takes a hit, but doesn't care. He nets it. Maybe he was just hoping for a rebound. He had his teammate right in front of the net. Didn't matter. So it's 2-0 now. Phoenix and Boston is going to really have to turn the pressure up just to make this game a contest. Phoenix still with it here though. Shot came in, redirected, but Boston was able to sniff it out. Lucic, a long lead pass up in over to Horton. Horton tied up though. Kicks it around, but it's only to an awaiting Coyote. As Phoenix back in on the attack here. Centering pass was broken up by Boston's D and once again, another lead pass brought out to Caron this time. Caron shot. Oh, but it went wide. Milan Lucic had a, an open net chance, it looked like, and he just missed it wide. You can't be squandering opportunities like that when time is definitely not on your side. Phoenix back into the Bruins zone here. Shot goes and gets blocked, and it's blocked again, this time by a teammate. Boston trying to dig this puck out. They finally do. It's Aaron Johnson who almost puts it in his own net, trying to pass it up ice. Tim Thomas might have gotten in the way of that a little bit, but the Bruins could have had a equalizing... Bruins could have had a chance at cutting into this lead, but Lucci's just missing on that one. and Maybe kind of took the wind out of their sails here. Broken stick off of that shot. As Boston just trying to get it out of their own zone. There's a minute left to play in this one. Tyler Sagan into the zone. They're already pulling Thomas. Shot by Sagan was saved by Smith with an empty net. Phoenix is looking to get this puck up ice. They do. And right now they're just playing keep away with it. But they finally do. The shot goes into the empty netter. And it's none other than Shane Doan. Who put the all-important second goal up. And the captain gets his second of the game. And his 14th of the year. So unfortunately, Boston is going to end up falling and otherwise faltering in this one as a hot Phoenix team coming into this game, although they don't look great in terms of the Western Conference picture as a whole. As of recent, they've been rolling through teams, and what did we say before this game? They've been playing the stake-free hockey, and for the most part, that's what you got tonight. And they really forced the Bruins into bad situations. Really, the first goal was a complete error on behalf of Boston, and just once again, you look at the look at the Phoenix Coyotes and their ability to force teams into bad decisions. It was what happened tonight. Boston possessing this puck still. Mike Smith not faltering here as it looks like he's going to get his shutout. Boston just trying to negate that, but 
Phoenix back in on the attack, and Smith is going to get his shutout. Drop pass led in front, but Boston was able to skate out. What does it matter? Boston loses this one. Three to nothing. Last goal by way of empty netter. And Phoenix continues to roll through teams. It's their fifth straight. As it was a tough one. We figured it would have been a defensive struggle here, but mistakes by the Bruins dug their own grave really in this one. 3-0, Coyotes take it from the Bees. As we take a look at the stat line, shots exactly even. Boston was heavy on the attack in the beginning and might have slowed up towards the end, but they still had the benefit in that regard. Phoenix benefiting on one power play, Boston none, off of a Milan Lucic call where he's just playing a little too aggressive. But the frustration was there for the Bruins tonight as they drop this one to Phoenix. Well, not the best way to start off the month of February for the Bruins. Monday night they will be in Colorado as it will be the last game of their long Western Conference road trip. And you have to wonder if the Bruins' legs are getting a little bit tired out there. They'll have to shake this one off, though, as these games become all more important as the standings continue to tighten up. Until Monday night, though, this has been Matt Nover, your broadcaster of the TCTV Live Boston Bruins community, your home for all Boston Bruins action, signing off for the evening. Good night, everybody.